Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today we're going to finish up our perimeter blocking on our yurt deck. first step on your perimeter blocking is to measure your perimeter blocking boards which are pretty much just end joists. A um, couple of things you're going to need for this project are Simpson strong ties or brackets, some screws, screw gun, and your measured joists after you're done. Um, the way you measure these joists you can cut them at the angle and make them perfectly flush. We decided to just cut them straight. Um, I'm going to measure in a board length on your 4x6, 4, 4x6 beam and make a line and measure from that line <clears throat> to the tip of your other 4x6 beam. You take that measurement, you end up with this board, and your next step is to anchor your first bracket into your 4x6 beam. We'll get that done and we'll be right back. So what you want to do is take your end joist and make it flush with the end of your beam. Once you have it flush, you take your strong tie and there's a bending mark on here, right at the tip of my finger there. And you want to kind of get that at the bottom to bend underneath the beam and also tight with your board so that everything is flush. Remove the board, hold it in place, come through with it. You might need a, an assistant here. Come through with a screw gun and anchor two in. Have your assistant hold it in place and simply anchor it down. Make sure it's flush on the back side. Anchor it down again. So once you have your first bracket measured out and in place and anchored down, you slip the board away and you come over to your other side and anchor down your other strong tie. So you do the same idea. You find that little folding notch, bring it to the bottom of the beam, flush. And same here, make this flush with the outside of your 4x6 beam. Have your assistant hold it in place and anchor two screws in and we'll show you what to do next. To connect your end joist to your brackets, you want to find your crown. And do the same thing. Slide it in place, flush with the bracket, and flush with the top of your 4x16. Have your assistant help you again. Hold it in place, level and even. Install the two screws. 
and then we'll show you what to do from there. So once you have your end joist anchored in with these two screws, before bending your board to meet your other bracket, we want to go through with a hammer, in this case I'm using an axe, and bend these under. Now, there are three screw holes on the bottom of each of those, and you put screws into those before bending the end joist as well. Also, to get to the bottom of these screws, uh, when it's getting a little more less spacious, I should say. Um, you just throw a tarp down, or if you really want to get it dirty, just lay down. Slide under with your drill. This is the best way I find to do it. Take your screw. Just wanted to give you guys a shot from below to see exactly what it looks like underneath this thing. So you're drilling in towards the flesh of the wood as well, not at a, an extreme angle, but a slight one. So I forgot to mention also before you bend your end joist to your other bracket you want to make sure you put your other screws in as well because when you bend that in it's going to be tight in there. So your next step is to bend your end joist to your other bracket. You do that by putting a little bit of applied pressure pulling inwards so that your board can't move out and it bends at the correct position. Then you simply swing it in to meet your next 4x6 as well as your joist. Your next step is to go through and mallet this out to make it even with the board and anchor your board to your joist. Apply pressure to the board inward again. And hammer that out until it's flush. Now you can install the two screws. Again, at a little bit of an angle. This is only 2x6. You're using 2 inch screws. So. Try to leave as little as possible coming through the other side. Now you're all anchored in. Continue to hammer these to the bottom. And continue anchoring in with the rest of the screws. So we're all done with our perimeter blocking here and the next step is insulation. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments about any of this process feel free to ask and comment below and be sure to check out the rest of our building and as well as our, uh, our journey, our garden, plenty of other videos to watch. Um, have a nice day, take care, peace.